Today I want to demonstrate what happens when you cry in space because I cry all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to cry right now though. <laughs> Welcome to the Amish Space Station and today is going to be a wonderful episode. Um, I want everyone to just relax for a moment and uh, you know just take a look at some of the pictures that I've chosen for this presentation. Um, it's, you know, about women in general. Women are beautiful. They're wonderful. They are an inspiration to have around, um, you know, to have in this world um, to assist men and men as well assisting women. Um, they're wonderful companions and uh, partners, significant others. Um, they're, they're absolutely wonderful and they make living life, um, worth living, you know? Um, and I want to say that because something has happened and it's really, really important that I explain this in the most delicate way possible, but also in the truest form at the same time, because truth is always first. Um, before any kind of, you know, I don't want to offend you or hurt your feelings. You know, I don't care about that. Um, I'm only here to expose shills and, you know, um, show truth. So one thing that's really bothering me is this feminism uh, type of, of push that's going on right now. And the reason why I'm showing you these pictures is because I want you all to see how um, you know, women are beautiful in their own sense. Um, you know, women are wonderful in their own sense. They don't have to be doing anything that they don't normally do or any of that. They're beautiful in their own sense. And um, everything, you know, me being an artist, everything is a, a way of expression. And what you do is, is art in a way. Um, and if you express yourself in the wrong way, you're going to get the wrong type of attention, even if that's not what you mean to do. Um, so sometimes the attention that you are looking for is not the best attention to have, um, you know, but anyway, the reason that I'm talking about this is because there is a split happening and I want to make more people aware of it. There's a split happening between men and women here in America and men, other places is spreading. Um, you know, I have a lot of people sending me different clips from television shows and different things that they throw in there to try and get women to be things that they're not. And um, just like the Super Bowl showed you, you know, women on the football field. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't get on a football field. You know, it's not even that I'm that small of a guy. Um, I'm, I'm an athletic guy. I'm a basketball player in general. Um, I'm not skinny or at all. You know, I've done weight training and everything, but I would not get on a football field. Um, you know, unless you actually really want to get your ass handed to you and knocked out with a concussion. Um, so, you know, and me personally, I think women are just too beautiful for that kind of roughhousing in general. So it, it just goes to show that they are trying to make women what they are not. And they don't have to be, you know, they're saying that women are not perfect the way they are. They're saying there's something wrong with all of you women um, out here in society. And they're also saying that about men with the feminization of men. Um, but that, that's that's a different topic, which I will cover soon. But this feminism push, we literally just had a woman who wanted to be president of the United States. Um, and, you know, a few years ago, even, um, you know, women uh, couldn't even vote. And that's what the suffrage was about. So it's really strange how, you know, feminism is lying and they're saying that they're about equality, um, even though they could be the president of the United States. No one ever said that women are not equal. Women are equal. And there's too many people um, who aren't educated in this area running your mouths about it. I understand that you all have your own opinion. But keep your opinions to yourself until you're educated enough to know the truth. If you don't hear from all three sides of an argument, okay, yes, I said all three, then you don't know what you're talking about. You're just blindly spewing how you feel, not what you observe. I show what I observe, and that's what I present to you, what I observe. Women get a lot of attention 
and women have changed over the years. And, and I want to put this out here that the I that what's happening to women. I want to put out what's happening to women. I want women to see this video and to see exactly the way that real men are seeing, you know, the way that they are viewing these women and the way that they are seeing these women. OK, the way real men, that's a key word because there's not a lot of real men out here. You know, uh, real men and real women stand up for being real men and real women. They don't stand up for men being women or women being men. And I'm sorry to break it to you. That's that's the truth. Um, just because a movement starts doesn't mean it's the right thing. Just because somebody says something doesn't mean it's OK. It doesn't mean that that's the new trend. It doesn't mean that that's what we're supposed to. You know, we're supposed to throw out everything else and just, you know, follow what they say now. OK, staying up to date is not always, um, you know, true. Um, the same way as certain terms don't mean the same thing. Actually, to me, they do. Every term does. Feminism still means the exact same thing to me and that's equality and i believe women have been treated with more than enough equality um there's a couple topics that that have happened first and i want to go over each each topic the first topic that i want to start with is uh the attention that women get women get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of friend requests a day okay changing your profile picture to a female will get you way more attention OK, um, in general. And women already know this. OK, that's why everywhere you look on Instagram, everyone is a model all of a sudden because women need that that type of, uh, you know, clarification. They, they need that validation. You know, women are completely different than what they are supposed to be. And keep in mind, I'm not talking about all women here. And that's why I'm actually keeping a level head while, while I discuss this, because I don't want people to get the wrong idea. Real women. So what I'm going to say from this point on is girls when I'm talking about women who are not real women, not real respectable women. They're girls. They're children in a way. OK, so. Women get a lot of attention and and honestly, even in domestic fights and things like that, um, if anything happens, it doesn't matter whether a woman slaps a man or any of that. Um, a lot of times the men are the ones getting in trouble. So where is your equality there? It doesn't exist. OK, the same as women who get pregnant and do things, you know, and decide that, you know, um, you know, that they want the man to pay child support but they don't want to be in the man's life anymore if your life is not in danger you made a life decision um, and you're also messing with someone else's life the child's life and you have a duty to yourself um, you know to stay with the person who you decided to make that life decision with and this goes for men as well you decided to bring another life into this world with with someone you need to take responsibility. And the problem is that many people are not taking responsibility for their own actions. And that's why this feminism agenda has started running wild and going crazy. Because people are not taking responsibility. And that's the same thing right now that we're seeing everywhere, um, you know, everywhere from every debate, from presidential elections to, you know, politics and everywhere. No one wants to take responsibility OK, for for the lies and for the problems that they've created and the drama and the life choices that they made. And that's also part of why feminism is changing. So. I understand that not everybody's compatible and I'm not saying that you need to force things, but I am saying that there should be a very, very legendary effort and it should be something that you rarely do. You're not supposed to be having 20 kids with 20 different fathers, nor should the father of people have, you know, 20 different kids, um, you know, by 20 different women. OK, because that that's, you know, that all that does is just split. It splits everything. No one has a foundation. No one has a family. No one knows their family. No one has a grandmother no one has a grandfather no one has helpers who can help them uh when they need help they're they're depending on their their crackhead friends you know and adolescent children as they're growing up other children you know in their classroom that's being raised by less than reputable parents okay and and that's not structure that's not structure the only way to have a foundation is for it to have a structure and you have to have structure and without structure you have nothing but a pile of rubble and that's the truth. Having 20 children and most of the children don't even know each other. That's a problem there. 
and people don't understand the repercussions that that has down the line because they're only too they're too narcissistic and they only care about themselves which brings me right into my next point the abortion thing is a topic i'm only going to cover briefly and i only have one stand on that and my stand is the only true stand there is no such thing as choice. There is a such thing as emergency contraception. So women, I want you to stop being a little bitch. Explain, uh, please excuse the language, but I want you to stop. I understand that it is very unfortunate that people get raped, but men get raped the same as women. And I know for a fact. And the thing is, is that there's also emergency contraception. And it also uh, is to your benefit because when this happens, you can can make sure you don't get a STI, STD or, or a pregnancy that is unwanted. And you have a few days to do this emergency contraception. So there is no reason to have a pregnancy that you do not want to the point of you killing an unborn child. Because of your own selfishness. And I also think women should have the right to choose some of that. And I believe that when they do that, when they decide to kill, they also go to jail for that as well. Okay? So that's, that's equality. Because when people decide to harm another, there's consequences to that. Whether they're unborn or not unborn. It's really strange how we all pretend to care about the children, but we're pushing abortion. That is called hypocrisy. That is why I am here to expose that because that is pure lies. You have no reason. If rape is your reason to kill an unborn child, where is the emergency contraception, plan B, etc.? Where is it? Because, you know, there's a lot that you can do to make sure that you are not pregnant. Okay? My, my next point that I want to bring up from there is um, the way that women are acting and what they're doing. Their perversions, um, you know. And I don't want to offend, but women are perverted. They are perverts. Extremely hard perverts, too. But um, basically, these photos that you're looking at here are photos of women who try to get this type of attention. Um, and I'm showing you this because these are the types of things that women are taking their, you know, they're bringing attention to the sexual part of who they are, all sexuality, all of their bodies, where now you're no longer looking at the beauty of what a woman is. You're now looking at her body. You're now lusting after a woman. You're lusting after someone. You're having certain types of other emotions that are not connected to um, just believing that someone is just beautiful, you know, beautiful and, and natural and, and, you know, fun to be around, etc. You're no longer believing that anymore, you know, because of what's happening here because women are deciding to parade themselves around and take these particular types of photographs. This is not acceptable at all for women. If women do not want to be sexualized and put into the form of an object, can I please ask a question then? Women, why are you taking pictures like these? Why everywhere you look, Millions upon millions upon millions of women are doing this. Men are not taking these particular types of photographs. They might try to do certain things with their bodies, with their muscles, etc. But they're not, they're not sexualizing themselves the way that women are. So women who are true feminists understand what I'm saying here. You cannot be putting yourself as a sexual object like this, you know, because you're putting your body on parade for anyone and everyone to see. So, for instance, when you look at porn stars, how many porn stars are male compared to female? 
millions of of women are porn stars um not necessarily big porn stars amateur porn stars and so many literally the adult industry is massive upon massive upon massive okay it is absolutely the most decrepit thing in the world and it is everywhere honestly absolutely everywhere doesn't matter where you go whether it's on reddit whether it's online and men are constantly being exposed to all of these women who are just taking off their clothes showing their bodies parading themselves around as being sexual okay And then they're upset if some guy decides to take them up on their offer that they're literally putting on public display for everyone. And I'm not condoning that at all. I don't, you know, like I said, you you know, I think there is something called self-control, but self-control goes for the person who is raped as well as the person who is raping. There's self-control both ways. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about what is avoidable. We're talking about reality. We're talking about what we know for sure, what is concrete. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about whether or not you think, you know, because I like like you guys already know from my other videos, I don't care what you think unless you can prove it, okay? Thoughts, thoughts only serve to dilute things. That's it. So women who are taking these types of photos, you now have all of your attention being taken off of your body, uh, you know, off of your beauty and focused directly on your body. And moreover, the more sexual part of your body rather than um, your beauty all as one. OK, and, and, and you're doing it to yourselves. And, and literally what's happening now is men are being trained to. You know, and women, too, are being you're all being socially engineered to hate each other. You're so there is nothing wrong with a woman being a mother. Mothers are beautiful. There's nothing wrong with women being a wife. Wives are beautiful. Partners are beautiful. There's nothing wrong with doing something that only you can do. There is drawbacks to everything. Men are stronger than women, but they can't bring new life into the world. Women have less muscle on their body and they can also bring new life into the world and can incubate that life as well. Women are magnificent. They are a miracle. Okay. It is an abomination to be splitting The two sexes apart from each other in this way. It is heartbreaking. Because women have the power and women need to have that. Men like to do what they can do for a woman. And women love to do what they can do for a man. Which is be there to support them. Hold them. Love them. Same for men. They want to be there for a woman, to hold them, to protect them, to take care of them, to support them. It makes a man feel like a man because of what he can do for the one that he loves. And right now in this country, it is being taught and, and, and mind-controlled non-stop for men and women to be split apart it's not cool for a guy to hit on a woman it's not it's not cool to go talk to a woman it's not okay to try and date someone or women need to have the most power whatever women say has to go no matter what women can choose on their own to decide to murder an unborn child that both of them a man and a woman took to make that's not okay, guys. That's, that's not okay. Looking at creation and looking at creation being perverted in this way is so disgusting. It's so It turns my stomach and it literally makes me sick. I'm sick right now thinking about this. It makes me sick. And not enough people are awake enough to realize how dangerous this is. So... On my last part right here, I'm going to show you 
what it is when women or real fitness photos from women, okay, when they decide to actually be real women. Um, these are fitness photos. These are women that are real women. Does everyone understand this? You can look and see someone who is beautifully fit, exercises, completely attractive altogether, and it does not have to be filthy in order to get more attention because the attention that you get when you take nudes and when you're parading your body around wearing nothing but yoga pants that are just, you know, showing every curve known to the female body on display for everyone, you might as well not wear anything. The purpose of clothing is to cover yourself, meaning to cover and conceal, not to align and reveal everything that, 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 that you are sporting. Because by doing that, you are bringing that type of attention to yourself. And real women know, you know exactly what it is. You know, when you're wearing certain types of clothing and pants and things because you want to show off your ass and you turn around just to see if guys are looking. Of course they're looking because you're showing it. You're showing it. And you may be attractive and there's nothing wrong with you being attractive. What's wrong is you parading it around. And then saying you don't want to be treated like a sex object when you're literally naked right in front of a whole bunch of guys. And you're literally saying you don't want to be a sex object. Then you need to be more dignified because it's equally. Oh, no, actually, it's way better. It's way more attractive. Having a woman that, you know, is just yours, the same as you having a man that, you know, is just yours. And I don't mean owning. OK, but when you are together, you're a couple, you are one, you own each other. That's the way that goes. And there's no problem with that. But that's what society wants you to believe, that there's a problem. Like, you don't own me. You can't do this. You can't do that. Oh, actually, when you commit to be with someone, you take on their responsibilities. You take on everything. That's what a real commitment is. So, yeah, you are partly owned. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because if you love the person that you are with, that you belong to, nothing else matters. Too many people are sitting around here being tricked by, by this stuff. These are photos of women that are absolutely beautiful and have no problems whatsoever with, with their particular type of beauty showing it in this particular type of way. This is what you, this is where the type of comments come in on your photos where people say, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, oh my God, you look really great today. Not you, you don't want those other uh, comments coming in. It's like, oh, man, I would smash that or I would tear that up. Oh, my God, you're thick. You know, it's just like that's all it is. There's no substance to that. You can only be so thick before it starts getting too disgusting. That, that goes for anybody. So I just want everybody to be aware of the agenda that's being pushed right now. We are in, you know, we are truly in danger right now, having men against women and women fighting and pushing and trying to take away all of the rights that that men have. Um, you know, we can't do that. And men need to stop giving these people their money. All you have to do is look at any cam site and you will see millions of women who are taking off their clothes on camera. That is what these women are doing. That is women. That is American women. That is Russian women. That's that's women in general being Americanized, being influenced in different countries that they're not even supposed to be doing it in, you know, being in like Russia and places where that's that's that stuff is actually illegal. And um, they are literally doing it. And and uh this is happening everywhere, and it's been going on for a while. And every woman is a super, super, super pervert in that sense. If they have to show their bodies 24-7 and do the things that they're doing, twerking and all this other stuff. It's like, if women don't want to be sexualized and put as an object, then don't treat yourself like one. Because you're, you tell men how you want to be treated, either as a woman or as a girl, hooker, stripper, whore, slut, whatever. And that comes in many forms. So I might make a part two to this, but I'm going to end it here because, you know, this whole topic really does make me sick. And uh, people do need to wake up and see the reality for themselves because this is a problem. So until next time, uh, this is Amish Space Station. Women, show more respect for yourselves. Have more respect for yourselves. 
than to take off your clothes for anybody to expose to the entire world. Like, have more respect for yourself. Or you're not going to be looked at as women. You're going to be looked at as whores. And I will treat you as a whore. And so will millions of other men. Because that is, in essence, what you are. If you're not a respectful, respectable woman. And that includes men, too. Who are whores. If they're not respectable men. So, Zomer Space Station. <laughs>